Jeff Bezos Rocket Company has won a NASA contract to land astronauts on the moon two years after it lost out to SpaceX. Blue Origin received a $3.4 billion contract Friday to lead a team to develop a lunar lander named Blue Moon. It will be used to transport astronauts to the lunar surface as early as 2029. Following a pair of crew landings by Elon Musk's SpaceX, NASA will get astronauts to lunar orbit using its own rockets and capsules, but wants private companies to take over from there. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said the agency wants different landing options, as it seeks a return to the moon more than a half-century. After the end of the Apollo moonshots, Blue Origin is kicking in billions of dollars. On top of the NASA contract, to help establish a permanent presence on the moon, we have a lot to do before we successfully land and return astronauts, said John Calieris, a Blue Origin vice president. Two years ago, Blue Origin sued after NASA awarded SpaceX the contract for the first lunar landing. A federal judge upheld the space agency's decision. NASA's Artemis program, which follows the 1960s and 1970s Apollo, Moonshots. kicked off with a successful test flight late last year, launched atop NASA's new moon rocket. An empty Orion capsule went into lunar orbit before returning home. The next Artemis flight will come late next year when one Canadian and three U.S. astronauts fly to the moon and back, but not land. Two Americans would descend to the lunar surface aboard a SpaceX Starship on the mission after that, no earlier than late 2025. Like SpaceX, Blue Origin plans to practice landing on the moon without a crew, before putting astronauts on board. While the shiny, stainless steel starship has a science fiction look, Blue Moon resembles more of a traditional capsule, perched atop a tall compartment with legs. The latter will stand 52 feet, 16 meters, on the moon. Both companies' landers are meant to be reusable. Blue Origin will use its still-in-development New Glenn rocket to launch its lunar missions from Cape Canaveral. Starship, the world's largest rocket, made its debut last month from South Texas. The test flight ended in an explosive fireball a few minutes into flight. Blue Origin's team includes five partners, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Draper, Astrobotic Technology and Honeybee Robotics. Only one other bid was submitted for the contract competition. According to NASA, sending astronauts to Mars by 2040 is an audacious goal. But NASA is trying anyway. Astronauts may orbit Mars by 2033, but setting foot on the red planet by the end of next decade would be an aggressive and audacious goal. According to NASA officials, to make the six-month flight to Mars and land by 2040, humans would have to leave Earth in 2039. A vision that was previously mentioned by NASA Administrator Bill Nelson and former Chief Jim Bridenstein. But the agency is finding it quite challenging to make that vision a reality in the next 16 years. And I'd say that is an audacious goal for us to meet. Jim Reuter, Associate Administrator for the agency's Space Technology Mission Directorate, STMD, said on Wednesday, May 17, at the Human to Mars Summit in Washington, D.C. It may sound like a lot but it is very short time to develop technologies we need to develop. For one, a crewed landing mission on Mars by 2040 would require humans to establish presence on the moon, NASA's first priority to serve as a stepping stone to Mars in the early 2030s. The agency plans to extensively use its future space station called Gateway, which will orbit the moon and host supplies and occasionally even astronauts, to run mock Mars missions, such an analog mission would unfold something like this. Astronauts will fly to and reside in the Gateway for six months, akin to a one-way trip to Mars, spend 30 days on the Moon to simulate working on the Red Planet, and return to the Gateway for another six months to mimic the journey back home. The closest we've gotten to such test missions on Earth is the high seas habitat in Hawaii, where astronauts pretend to be on Mars including dealing with a 20-minute communication delay. However, the Hawaiian habitat does not replicate Martian gravity, which is 38% lower than Earth's. So NASA officials plan to use the Moon Orbiting Gateway, which will be the first such outpost outside of low Earth orbit, to test how humans respond to low gravity conditions. So, what are your thoughts NASA can achieve this goal by 2040? Tell us in the comments. Also don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.